Hey everybody, welcome to Diecast Driveway. Thanks for pulling in. I'm at the Dollar Tree. It looks like they dumped some new stuff into these two bins. So we're gonna have a look and see if we can find anything. Hopefully not a lot of people have been here. Because last time I was here, someone got to it before me, but and see what we can find in here. Not seeing much in this one. This might be the one that we already went through. I really want the super of this. Nothing in there, so let's go into this one. Dang. Not looking too promising. Yeah. Oh, I might actually grab this so I can open it up. I really like that car. Super exciting. Let's check these. We might have put them up here. I think like someone got here before me. <laughs> Not even a treasure hunt. Looks like this is all we're picking up from here. Hopefully a few other spots have some good stuff. See you over there. Here we are at Albertsons, and it looks like there's a new case in here. So let's see what we can find. Hands are really dirty because they just got done fishing. Uh, I thought there was a twin mail ID, but it was just a regular. Ooh. Lots of the Porsche. Hopefully we can find at least a treasure hunt. Haven't had any luck lately. Nothing.
Oh, I think I just saw one. Nice. Got a custom 77 Dodge Van treasure hunt. Could mean that we might have a super in here. Somewhere. Set those right there for now. Dang, thought that was it. Looked like it had different wheels on it for a second. Ball treasure. I think I'm getting down to the older stuff now. There's some good ones in there. Yeah, found one treasure hunt. I think I've been through this bin like 15 times. I threw it earlier and I found a Hello Kitty one. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ooh, that might be something to get to open. Yeah, I think we're gonna get this to open up. But I think we've really seen everything else that's in here. Getting down to the... Yeah, we've seen everything else in here. Alright, well, I got a few other stops to make. I'll pick the video up when I get over there. Still at Albertsons. I walked past this wall, not expecting to see anything new. And then I looked up and I noticed... Street Wiener, the Wiener Treasure. Heck yeah. And I found this, it's a Super Chromes. I don't know if there's anything special about them, but I'm gonna grab it anyways, just in case, you know. what we're taking. I do have quite a few of these and they're going in my trade pile so if you're looking for one of the custom 77 Dodge and treasure hunts and you have something you'd like to trade let me know. I'd be glad to do some trades. Alright on to the next spot. We are back home. Uh, that wasn't a bad hunt. We did find a couple cool things and now we have a stack of stuff to open. So I did pick up this, this Tamika Nissan GTR. I've never bought a uh, Tamika, um, but I did see Skip Diecast. He got a really cool GTR in blue. So when I saw this orange GTR, I was like, heck yeah, I want that. Um, I'm not a huge fan of blue, so I'm glad I found the orange one. Since I don't really know much about these, I'm going to open this one just to check them out, get a good look, see if I want to buy more. So, we can crack into this one, uh, right on the back. Sorry if you guys hear a bunch of banging, they're remodeling the house next to mine. Uh, here. Oh, jeez, alright, there it is. Oh, it comes with this cool little box. 
that's cool. Anything in it, or is it just to store the car? Just to store the car. That's so cool, though. And then here's the actual car. Looks really nice. Looks really nicely made. It's got some nice decals on it. Actual headlights. They're not painted on. Do the doors open? Sweet! Oh, it's even like... Uh, right hand drive, that's cool. Orange interior. Yeah, this thing's actually really nice. It's got a lot of weight to it. Heck yeah, I like that a lot. Sweet. Alright, and the next one we picked up while we were at Albertsons. Got the Shelby Cobra 427SC. This one. Oh. Make some really good pictures for Instagram, I think. Some really nice curves on this car. Really nice color, the black and red. Awesome front end on it. The rear end. It would have been a lot nicer if they would have put some tail lights on it, but still a really cool car. Nice. Alright, up next we got the Moon Eyes Dodge Van, the recolor of the Dodge Van. Should have grabbed the other one so I could open both of them side by side, but I wasn't thinking. Man, I like this color a lot. You gotta love the Moon Eyes. Does that say right there? R R Y U. Hot Wheels Drift. I want to see one of these vans actually drift. Hmm. Is that little black speck on all of these vans? I don't know. Mopar. Got the chrome interior with the go-kart in there. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's a really nice looking van. I like that. That one will photograph well, too. And then, I really like this truck. A lot. La Troca. Looks like it's an old... Is that an old Chevy? Looks like it. Uh, yeah, that's sweet. The art on this. This is probably my favorite art car. Who doesn't love a pinstriping on an old ride? Got the gold bottom. Uh, you can't really see through the window to see if there's a what color the interior is, but gold rims, super sick gold grill. I'm guessing they were trying to go for like wood paneling type deal on the back. But yeah, that's a sweet truck. Up next, we got the Fair Lady 2000. I really like the look of this car, the body shape of it. Number two. Really, really nice sparkly red color. The white. I really like the look of this car. It says Fair Lady 2000 right there on the side. Probably won't focus enough for you guys to see it clearly, but. No. Oh well, it's there, right there. Sweet car. Then we got the 73 Ford Falcon XB. I also thought this one would make some really nice pictures for Instagram. I think I haven't opened one of these up in my Hot Wheels case, but I wanted another one just to, I don't take anything out of my Hot Wheels case, so I wanted one that I could play around with and take pictures. God, this is a mean looking car. Really like the paint, the sparkly green with the yellow flames. The front end is really nice too. I really like that car. I'm surprised that they put the 
gas cap silver. Yeah, that's nice. It's really nice. And then these two are from Tampa. I told them I was really looking for this next car, and I, I couldn't find it anywhere. I only found one, and it's up on my Hot Wheels wall, unopened. So I really, really wanted one to open. And he said that he would send me one. So The 70 Chevel SS Fast and the Furious. Man, I love this car a lot, and I can't... I wanted to open it so bad. Yeah, that's sick. That is super sweet. Um, Live or Die Cast, I don't know if you guys have checked him out yet. You should. He's a really cool guy. He does some cool stuff on his channel. He made a custom one of this car. I think he said it was for his son. I could be mistaken. He could have said his daughter, but I'm pretty sure he said his son. And I didn't get to watch the, that whole video, but I'll probably look it up after I post this just to see what he did with this. Yeah, that's really, really nice car. Probably looks really nice next to the Ford Falcon. Yeah. Like they're about to do a drag race. And then this one, uh... I don't know if I have this color combo on the Eon Motors Thresher. But it is a fantasy car. It's one of the cooler fantasy cars. It's modeled after like kind of looks like a kind of looks like the Ford Falcon. But it could be a Dodge Charger too. So thank you, Tampa, Tampa, for sending me these. I greatly appreciate it, my dude. You should be getting your package soon with uh, some of the cars I sent you. Oh man. Look at the back window. Like somebody took like a knife to it. Must have came off the production line pretty rough. And then this one, you push this I think. I thought you pushed this and like the front end came, there was something that came out of the front. I don't know. Maybe that's a different Ion Thresher. I really thought it did something though. Huh, maybe not. Still really cool. Alright, and that's it for the cars. A bunch of you, I asked a bunch of you if I should do some trading card openings on my channel. And I got a bunch of positive responses. Everyone's like, yeah, do it, do it. So I got some Yu Gi Oh cards. These are sent from Tampa. We, this is a trade for some um, valuable cars I had. I was looking to get back into collecting Yu-Gi-Oh! and some other trading cards. And he said he had some. So I was like, hey man, I'll send you some valuable cars if you want to send me some packs. And he did. He sent us <laughs> quite a few packs, actually. Uh, I got a package from him today. I was going to open it on camera, but I got it, and I was just super excited, so I just ripped into it immediately. And so, in the next video, we have pretty much a booster box of random Pokemon packs to open. Uh, I think there's three, three or four sets in there, and we'll get into that in the next video. We're going to do the Yu-Gi-Oh cards in this video. And then when I was at Walmart, I didn't find anything for Hot Wheels, but I did find some packs of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I got two Ancient Guardians and two Fists of the Gadget. So we're going to start with these. These are from Tampa. The Star Pack v Reigns and the Star Pack Battle Royale. Uh, these have the Star Foils in them and some reprinted old cards from when I was a kid. I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh when I was probably 15, so it's been about 15 years. So I don't know a lot about the new meta of the game or anything. I've been trying to learn it. So uh, if you guys see anything in these that you think I should set aside and protect, let me know. If you see anything in it that you would like to trade, like some cars or some other cards for, let me know. I'm always down for trading. So we got a Star Pack v Reigns.
These have the star foils in them. I'm not sure if it's the front card. Oh, yeah, this one was. So we got a foot clown, a gooky twi twist cobra. That's cool. That's really cool. Ooh, this one's really cool, too. An Altergeist Prime Banshee. I like that a lot. And the star foil is the Flick Clown. See the star foil pattern on it? And the, the effect, if you control at least two other Cybers monsters that have no cards in your hand, you can pay 1,000 life points, draw one card, you can only use this effect of Flick Clown once per turn. So, I'm not sure if that's good or not, but I'll try my best to learn. Um, there is a a uh, card shop in my town where they do tournaments and everything, so I might go down there and see if they have like a beginner's class or a beginner's night. Uh, Star Pack Battle Royale. And these are first editions, so that's really nice. So if you see Tampa in the comments, give him lots of love. Check out his stores. He sells all this stuff on there. Okay, we got the super heavy samurai giga gloves. We got a Yusenji comma three. Man, the art on these is just so cool. Ooh, D D D Oracle King D Arc. That looks like a very very nice card. Um. Any effect that would inflict damage to you makes you gain that much life point. Whoa! I mean, I don't know a lot about the game, but I think I know enough to kind of play it, and that effect seems like it would be really, really nice. I think if I was going to have a deck, I'd probably put these in it. I want to build a dragon deck, but this guy, I just like that effect. That's a, that's a super cool effect. All right, we're going to put the star rares in a different pile, or the star foils, and we'll put these in their own pile. And this down a little bit. All right. Next, we have another v Reigns pack. Um, there are older reprints in here from cards from when I was a kid. I think I said that already. So that's what I'm really hoping for. God, this is so nostalgic. I remember being a little kid. I was obsessed with Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff. Opening packs and stuff. It was such a fun time. Cyber Wizard. Backup Secretary. And Groki Thunder Ogre. That seems like a really good card. Yeah, guys, please let me know if I'm pulling anything crazy or anything like that. I'll probably look up prices after I'm done. But if you see something here you know a lot about, let me know in the comments. I haven't seen any older cards that I remember from my childhood yet. Trickstar Candina. I like that. That's some cool art. It's kind of hard to get the star foil pattern on camera. Garoki Rematch. I got that one in a different pack a while ago. And just a regular Flick Clown. We got the star Flick Clown and the regular one. That's cool. Alright. Battle Royale. Star Pack. Bloom Prima the Melodist Choir. Ooh, that's cool. DDD Duo Don King Kala Yugi. Yuga. Dang, look at the attack and the defense on this card. Man, they got cards have gotten powerful since I was younger. Speed Droid Terror Top. For the Star Rare. Alright, we got two packs of these left. Can't thank Tampa enough. He is such a cool guy. Oh, 
I hope he really enjoys the cars I sent him. Super Heavy Samurai Soul Buster Gauntlet. Yusenji Shinchu L. And Solo the Melodist Songstress. That's cool. Alright, down to the last one of the Star Packs. Um, if you're looking for good Yu-Gi-Oh! channels to watch, I would suggest Simply Unlucky. He's a really, really cool YouTuber. He opens some really cool Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. And Rexon34. He he's the main one I watch. He has a really lots of really cool stuff. Perform Paul Thunder Rhino. Yost Yost Genji comma two. Bloom Diva the Melodist Choir. That's cool. The star pattern's really nice. All right. Well, that was it for the star packs. Thank you so much, Tampa. I really enjoyed opening those. Just run through everything again. All the star foils. Let everybody get a good look at them. Remember, if you see any of these you would like to trade something for, just shoot me an email or a message on my Instagram. This guy. I don't think I'll trade this one. That one. Um, maybe that was the only star foil I won't trade for. But all these other ones up for trades. Alright, next we got Ancient Guardians. And a blister. I heard that Walmart wasn't going to sell any more trading card stuff, but my Walmart has all kinds of trading card stuff. Maybe that was just in some places. Alright, Ancient Guardians. Let's see what we get. These will have a lot more cards in them. The Star Packs only came with three. I think these have... Five. Uh, no, this one has seven. The next set has five. I don't know when a card check on these, so I'm not going to do it. Trade-in. Rare. I think this means rare when it's silver. Miss Lofchord L-A-T. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Snake Rain. These look blue on the camera, but they're green, just so you know. Light Serpent. Flogo the Og... The... De Balance? I don't know how to say that. Og... Doadic? Hmm. Zoha the Og Doadic Balance? Oh... I think this is super rare, or is it ultra? I don't know, but that is cool. I'll I'll it the Ogdor Dio Dick Dark. <laughs> I'm just murdering that, but look at that foil. That is a gorgeous card. Wow, that's sweet. That's really really cool. All right, next is Fist of the Gadgets. Five cards per pack. My favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card back when I was playing was always Blue Eye, uh, not Blue Eyes, uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon. I always like dragon cards. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Tiger. Ooh, look how warped those are. Brotherhood of the Tiger Fist Tiger King. <laughs> it's the Tiger King. 
Mythical Beast Master Cer Cerberus. Man, these foils are so nice. Power Hold the Moving Battery. Green Gadget. Ooh, Secret Rare. Brotherhood of the First Fist Panda Secret Rare. That is sweet. That foil is just so cool. Alright. Another Ancient Guardian 7 card pack. Aries Rock Sunrise, Damage Reptile, Luster Pendulum the Draco Slayer, Ogdioedic Origin, Your Sartic Megapolar, Offering to the Snake Deity, and Sulfatroid Harm Harmony. I think this is one of the valuable ones out of this set. All right, last one. Fist of the Gadgets. Oh, we got another Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Tiger King. Another Mythical Beast Master Cerberus. Wait, is this the same exact pack? Oh no, we got another, a different one this time. I like these Brotherhood cards. Brotherhood of the Fire F Fire Fist and Ignis Heat, the true Draco Warrior. Those are sweet. Look at that. Shine. Alright, everybody. Well, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed opening these packs with me. I really enjoy opening them. I thought we might be able to broaden our horizon with collectibles. And then tomorrow, make sure you come back because we'll be opening up all these Pokemons. And they, um, there will be um, up for trades too. If you guys have some other cards or cars or something you would like to trade, if I pull anything good out of these, just let me know. Alright, well, like the video. Share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, it really means a lot to me. Every time I see one more subscriber, it makes my heart all warm and fuzzy. Um, check out my Instagram, I'll be posting pictures of all these cars on there, um, probably later today. And yeah, alright, well, thanks everybody for watching, I'll catch you in the next one.